Hello, friends. Um, so it's been several months since I've actually hauled books for you. So the books that I have here are not all of the books I've acquired since the last haul I did, which I think was in June, but I don't know for sure. I might have done one in July. I don't really know. Some of the books I hauled in August and September are actually still in California because I'm terrible. Um, but these are all of the books I've hauled that I currently have at my disposal. So um, let's go ahead and jump right in. stack of books I will do our books I've gotten in I will create in the last few months so we have these four books here starting with the September Owl Crate we got Mirage by Samia Duad I hope I'm saying that name correctly I have not been able to find a pronunciation on it but I promise by the next time this book is talked about not in this video but in a different video um, I will have the correct pronunciation um, then for the October box, we actually got to two books. So the first one was Pride by Evie Zoboy. I actually got an advanced copy of this one at BookCon this year and have not had a chance to read it yet, so I'm a little sad about that. But, um, I do like that the Owl Cray edition is pink, so maybe that'll encourage me. Um, then we have Shadow of the Fox by Chuli Kagawa. Um, this is an East Asian inspired book and I think it sounds really fun. I've seen a lot of people have bad since read it and loved it and so I'm excited to see what all the hype is about. And then in the November box we have Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha again and this one I've seen everybody and their mother rave about. This is another one I actually have an arc of and just have not read because I'm terrible but um, I am really excited to get to this one. If you saw my December TBR this one's actually on it and I'm very excited. As for Fairy Loop, we did get a double. So the first one is Mirage. Um, we got these two in the same month so these are the two different exclusive editions, so um, I am happy to have these. I actually, I'll show you um, my giveaway stack a little early, but one book I did want to give away was also Mirage. Um, I entered this giveaway before I knew about the book boxes, so I actually have three copies of this one. This is the UK, this is the exclusive fairy loot, and this is Owl Creed. Um, the only one I don't own is the US, where I live, which I find a little funny. Um, and then I never actually got my October Fairy Loop box as that is currently in California. So I know I have another edition of Girls and Paper and Fire on the way. I just do not have it yet. But what we got in the November Fairy Loot was this beautiful edition of Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is the US edition. Um, I personally think that the UK edition is so stunning. Um, I am definitely going to go on the trade page to see if anyone will be willing to sell it or trade it for me. But I am happy with the US edition. I do think the cover's pretty. You guys just know I'm a sucker for sprayed edges, so... What can I say? Okay. Um, the next stack of books are books I won in giveaway. So I did already talk about my third copy of Mirage that I hauled. But I also did get this, uh, this copy of Sadie by Courtney Summers. And what I didn't realize until I read it earlier um, this month is that it was actually a signed copy. Which I think is so special. Which I really enjoyed. So happy to have those. The next books I hauled were books that were sent by publishers for review. So the first one I got was Me and Me by Alice Keppers. This one was supposed to be part of a blog tour, but um, I did have to back out. I'm still super interested in checking this book out. It has a parallel reality and I'm I'm just excited to give it a read. Um, I also like how short it is, so definitely one that I might pick up during a readathon, possibly like a 24 hour readathon or something. I haven't really decided. Um, then I have The Competition by Cicely Wolf. This is a nice short little one. Um, this one really reminds me of the book The Taker that I read like back in the day. Then I read it again for a throwback Thursday. But this is about some kids that enter a writing competition and you follow that. Um, I don't know. It seemed really interesting and very like back to school -y almost. Then I had Jack of Hearts and Other Parts. Um, this one I actually won a giveaway that was hosted by the novel. But this is about a 
um, sex plus teen that ends up actually getting a stalker. And um, I don't know, a lot of aspects about this one seemed really interesting, and I'm really excited to see how this um, story is told. So I cannot wait to get to this one. I'm sad that all of these are overdue arcs, but I'm still really excited for it. And the last advanced copy I have, I was sent it by the novel, but that is Like Years by Cass Morgan. And this one takes place in space. It's about a boarding school. And I don't know, it sounds really good. I haven't read um, The Hundred by Cass Morgan, but the concept sounds interesting. This one sounds interesting. And yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to get to it. Next book is probably one of the most heartwarming ones on this list. And that is Sock Hill Girls by Claire Legrand. And the thing that really set this one apart is that someone actually sent me this book. I have my Amazon wishlist out there. And this one showed up from my wishlist. Unfortunately, there was no, um, receipt or anything inside so I cannot give credit to who sent me this one but to whoever it is thank you so much honestly receiving this just absolutely made my day that um I included with absolutely no obligation for anyone to buy me anything but the fact that someone did just really warm my heart and made me feel really happy last stack of books I have for you all and it is a pretty massive stack are books I snacked up on black friday because there were just too many good deals for me to pass up Actually, I have one more. Um, I got uh, A Spark of Light by Jodi Picoult. I saw this one on a pre-Black Friday sale, and I love Jodi Picoult's books. And this is an adult um, literary fiction, women's fiction hardcover, which normally go for, like, 25-ish here in the States. And I found this one for, like, $15, so I had to snag it up when I saw it. And now on to, like, the actual Black Friday day sales um the first one are from the barnes noble sale uh i got the sun is also a star by nicola yoon this is an exclusive edition with sprayed edges and it is is signed by the author so i thought this was a really fun find then this is not for me but it's actually for a secret santa who i do not know if they watch my channel so i hope you don't but i was i found a signed edition of arch enemy so i thought that would be really fun to include for uh the person that's going to get my secret Santa present. Um, I have this Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Girls in Paper and Fire, which this one is also signed. Very pretty. Um, I got this one because I wasn't sure what the Owl Crate edition was going to look like. The two look like side by side. There's a bit more purple on the Owl Crate edition. But other than that, I'm not going to lie for me, they look pretty similar. <laughs> um, this one also has the gold tags instead of the silver, but other than that, they look pretty similar to me. The Barnes & Noble edition also has an annotated seam, so that is what that looks like. Um, and then this one, like I said, is also signed by the author. So that one is super fun. And then ending this book haul with a book outlet unboxing because their Black Friday sale was amazing. First book I got in this one was uh, Small Great Things by Joey Bacolt. This is the paperback edition and this one was such a good price. I, I've been eyeing this on my local bookstore since like I read the book last year and loved it but all along where it's like a little too much for me to justify paying for it. So when I saw this one on the sale, now that went up right away. Then I got If We Were Villains by ML Rin. I saw Allie from Hardback Quarter just absolutely rave about this book and it's a play on Shakespeare whom I love and it's like a murder mystery thriller and it sounded really fun and I've seen people talk about this one like for a while now but I think it was for sure Allie that totally sold me on this one so yeah definitely need to give this one a read. This next one is definitely probably the most out of my comfort zone of all of the books here and that is The Nightingale by Kirsten Hanna. Um, this one is a World War II historical fiction which is not what I read at all. Um, I also did not realize what a chunker this book was but I've just seen so many people rave and love about this book and so when I saw it included on the uh, Black Friday sale I figured I would pick it up. Um, Fortunately, the text is like a decent size, so I'm hoping this might be one that is like a really quick read, but is one that I wanted to check out. Um, spoiler for one of my upcoming videos, but in 2019, I'm going to challenge myself to expand my reading a little bit by doing a couple monthly challenges. And so one of them will be like an 
out of my comfort zone month where I can only read books from genres I normally don't pick up. Um, that's coming way in 2019, but I figured this might be a fun one to put on that list. The next one is an anthology. I think I saw um, Lala talk about, and that is Violent Ends. And this one is about a school shooting where um, each short story is from a different point of view that happened during the school shooting. I thought this was a super interesting concept, and I feel like it's one that I will really enjoy. Um, of realistic contemporary fiction, um, ones about school shootings are ones that I find incredibly interesting. I do find myself very much enjoying how those narratives are told. I think that there's a lot of interesting perspectives that can come out of those ones. So I am really excited to give this one a read. Um, I then got Everything All at Once by Katrina Leno. I've heard Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads uh, rave about Katrina Leno since she read Summer of Salt. And then she read this book and I saw this one in an uppercase box a couple months back and it sounded really interesting then. And now it just sounds even more interesting now that I know other people that I trust really loved it. And then just this tagline of 24 days, three weeks, take a leap. That sounds really fun. So I don't know. I'm excited to read this one. I'm debating if I want to like jump into it right away or save it back for Contemporary Thon, which I think is coming around soon. So um, yeah. Definitely want to give this one a read soon, but excited to have it. This next one I got purely because of the holiday season and so many people talking about this one as a great holiday read and I don't have a holiday read I'm excited to get to right now. So any holiday read is great. So I picked up The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. This is about um, a girl who is kind of like a Scrooge in her life and she's visited by three ghosts and does not learn her lesson, so she's given a second chance by becoming the ghost of Christmas past in Ebenezer Scrooge's story. And it sounded really fun and interesting, and I love A Christmas Carol, so I think that this will be such a fun retelling and reimagination of it, and I'm excited to read it. I have the audiobook from Hoopla, I have this one, and it's currently to the season of thon Depending on when you're seeing this, um, it might no longer be, but it's on my TBR for that, so I'm hoping to get to this one very soon. And the last one I have specifically for the next round of Fairy Tale Athon, which the for that will be announced very soon, so stay tuned. But uh, I remember a few people how this went on their TBR for the first round of it, and it sounded really interesting. So when I saw it on sale, I got it, so I have it on standby. And that's All the Ever Afters by Danielle Teller. And this is the untold story of Cinderella's stepmother, and I think it'll be really interesting. Um, one thing I love about retellings is when we focus on the villain side, so I'm so excited to see what this is. I'm not quite sure if it's a prequel or if it's a, her POV during the story of Cinderella, but it sounds really fun and I'm so excited to give it a read. And yeah, so those are some of the books I have hauled in the last few months, um, most of them being in November. I think that with the exception of the book boxes and the giveaways, everything else was November. So pretty hefty month, but I, yeah, I'm happy. Um, most of these are books I want to read, so very excited for that. And because I don't know what I miss because of the hecticness of moving back and forth several times, um, there are probably books I've hauled that are just not showing up on any of these lists, but fear not. Once I'm in a more stable location and I have bookshelves up again, I will be doing a bookshelf tour, and so you will then be able to see all of my books then. Merry Christmas everyone! It's time to open up our Funko for the day. It took me a second, but look, we got little Fred. Oh my gosh. Um, I've been watching Melanie's unboxing. She's talking about how like depressing this We See Dead People gang is. And girl, you right, especially when we add Fred to the mix. Um, that is all I have for this video. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I am currently attempting to do bookness where I post every day or 
every day ish so if you would like to see more content definitely hit that subscribe as you will be getting a lot of it for the month of december before i slow down into a regular upload schedule for the new year but um that's everything i have for you all today so thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all in a new video coming very soon bye <laughs>